Hello and welcome to One India News. I am Akash and today we are going to talk about something very interesting and something that might even intrigue you. Well, you are watching this video on the internet, right? So, you know what, 22 years back, that is on the 15th of November 2000, the Southern Cross Cable Network, the 30,000 km long, world's longest fiber optic cable connection that connects Australia, New Zealand, Fiji and the United States of America's state Hawaii went live. Now you must be you know thinking that perhaps the internet connectivity is bounced off the satellites uh, that are you know going up and down in the space but uh, that's now how it actually works. In fact there are these submarine cables that are placed on the ocean floor or the sea floor that actually makes all of this happen. But you must be thinking like how does this work, right? Well, basically a huge tome of cables are laid on the ocean floor. So these internet undersea cables work on the fiber optic technology and are made up of thin glass fibers on the inside. Now, these glass wires are then wrapped in a several layers of plastic and metal to offer them strength. The way the data is transmitted through these cables is that with the help of the lasers. Now these lasers fire beams of light from one end of the cable at an extremely high rate that travels all the way to the end of the other side and are registered by the receivers. Now these submarine cables are rooted in a location that won't come in between shipping or you know fishing routes which would uh, make them susceptible to damage or to any accidents. Now the submarine cables are collectively owned by telecom partners or the carriers of various nations. Now at times the internet companies that have helped funded to install them also own them. There are also backup cables that are placed on the sea floors to take care of any you know, untoward incident if it happens. Now, as far as India is concerned, cables coming from different parts of the world connect in India at landing stations near the coast. India has at least five of these landing stations. Now, these landing stations are in Mumbai, Cochin, Trivandrum, Chutikorin and in Chennai. Now, Mumbai is the busiest landing station which connects with 11 cables total. Now, Chennai comes second with seven connections. Third on the list is Cochin with two connections and both Trivandrum and Tutikorin have one connection each. Now, Tata Communication operates the world's largest wholly owned submarine fiber network more than 5 lakh kilometers of the subsea fiber routing up to 24% of all internet traffic. The internet as it exists today could not operate without these submarine networks. The cable route about 99% of the global internet traffic connecting points of presence in different countries and across continents and allowing information to be sent and shared throughout the globe or else you won't be able to watch this video right now. Now without these cables there would be no email, social media, Netflix or even Spotify, online shopping, search engine or even cloud computing. So you could think that you know your uh, COVID lockdown would have been really boring. Now, there would have been no facets of modern internet which we could have become so reliant upon. And we hope that you like this new video of ours and if you did, do like this video, share with your friends and family and of course subscribe to One India News YouTube channel and thanks for watching. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.